Looking for a fun, new, exciting way to play fantasy sports? Make sure to check out FanDuel. Use code BENGAL at sign up for a $20 deposit bonus when you enter that code. It is the best and most fun way to play daily fantasy sports. I know I play fantasy football for the daily fantasy sports all the time. I can't really handle the grind of the season. So this is just the best way and the most fun way for me to play any type of fantasy sports. I've been doing it for a couple of years now and FanDuel is just absolutely the best. So make sure to use code BENGAL at sign up. $20 deposit bonus. And also, if you guys want to check out my second and third channels for other videos and games you might see with some of your other favorite YouTubers that I collab with. Make sure you check that out. Both links are in the description. What's going on guys? Bengal getting here coming back at you with another video today back on Giants franchise. A couple things to address as I usually like to do at the start of these. Uh, one, we clearly blew out the Ravens last episode if you did not see that. It was 61 to 3. It wasn't close and I talked about in the video how I don't enjoy blowing out the CPU. And then I got some comments of just people whining per usual. Eh, we were going to use your linebacker. Oh, well. Someone quoting me, I'll stop, I'll stop using the linebacker. That's, that's how I sound. Um, clearly, clearly. I'm not sure if you guys know much about uh, making videos or entertainment, but when a very large percentage of your comment base wants you to keep using the linebacker at times, that's what I'm going to do, because that makes the most sense for entertainment, which is why I make these videos. It's unfortunate that this last game was so one-sided. The Ravens were terrible, and we would have beat them very handedly anyway. Um, but I'm going to tone down the user. I'm going to only use her at select times. I'm going to limit myself in games, and I'm going to pretty much lay off of it until I have to. But I think it's a big part of... Uh, not only the franchise, but my franchise experience when you add skill over luck to pick off the CPU. I mean, we're going to go into gameplay sliders here, and we are going to lower interceptions to 60. I'm going to slightly turn down pass defense reaction time and coverage, and then we're going to turn up CPU uh, run blocking. We'll try a 65. Another thing uh, that I'll say is... What happened? What do I want to address? Oh, yeah. Somebody said, like, it, it makes sense to use her if you actually uh, played your zone and, and stopped running across the field like a chicken with its head cut off. I'm like, just watch, watch the videos when I make user picks. I strafe back into my zone, and I break on the ball. It's not very difficult to figure out. Uh, and a lot of people were hating on the Darwin James trade. You must have not watched the video. I mean, that's the only thing I can say. Because we've changed... Uh, in the defensive substitutions to feature a lot of three safety looks because we only have two solid cornerbacks. So if you're hating on the trade, you just you clearly have no idea what you're talking about. And I think you live like an ostrich with your head underneath the sand. As we're going to put Lorenzo Carter at sub linebacker, Espinosa is going to play anyway. And Julius Manning stays at slot cornerback. We're in business. We're going to start off with scouting some players. I know a very volatile episode per usual to start things off, but at, it is how it is. And uh, we don't need safeties. Could potentially use a cornerback, but I don't really like any there. I think I said we were going to focus primarily on edge rushers last time we were down here. We don't need any middle linebackers, really. Got a couple of good edge rushers. Um, defensive tackle we could look into, but it's pretty doubtful. Left end, right end. Let's continue to scout left ends for this episode. Uh, Matt Weaver's not too bad. Jackson Pops okay. Cody Kelly pretty bad. And then we can't scout uh, scout Antoine Gardner from North Texas. So that is scouting. We still haven't re-signed anybody. And we are 3-4. and four. So we really need to turn it around here if we're going to have a shot at the playoffs. Let's go ahead. Can I spend my coaching XP on anything? I'm not sure if I can afford anything. I have a lot of packages already. Yeah, I can't really afford anything right now. So we're just going to jump into this game. Week 9 against the Pittsburgh Steelers. 8.30. We're away. We're going to come out in some white unis. Not the current away, though. We're going to run the color rush. All whites. Monday night, prime time. Let's get after it. Steelers, Giants. That's combining for a lot of Super Bowls here, but the uh, fireworks are going off at Heinz Field. And I am ready to kick things off. 
facing Big Ben, TJ Watt's going to be on the field. I would hazard a guess that Le'Veon Bell is still a member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, as he is. I would say Antonio Brown is as well. Juju Smith-Schuster we see. Uh, it looks like Jack Doyle is on this team now. There's A.B. We saw Stefan Tuitt. Cameron Hayward. I mean, this is still a pretty good team. This might be our toughest test of the season. And without the uh, ability to really bail us out with user picks early to start the game, this could be a tough one. Saquon dominated last week. Oh, also, people did want me to use her the safeties. I'm bad at that, is the thing. Like, really bad. And I'm going to leave myself exposed. So I could give it a shot. But it's just not really my game. As we come out to make a nice play there. And there is an injury timeout. Le'Veon Bell goes down in the first play. Uh, I guess at some point when I simulated, I forgot to turn injury back on. So injury is back on now. Uh, I was wondering why we weren't really getting any injuries because... I guess when we simulated, I forgot to turn it back on, so that's my bad. And, uh, of course, I find myself on Lorenzo Carter, so I didn't want to jump that route and intercept it. That would have been uh, very easy, and then we would have gotten complaints off the bat. So, got to do what you got to do, I guess. Oh, no, James Conner, the tailback now, as Nat DeGear goes down. Back-to-back -back injuries on back-to-back -back plays. Yeah, after the quarterback. That's a fantastic play from the secondary. Who is that? Number 52, Alex Espinoza in coverage on the tight end, Vance McDonald. Makes a tremendous play in man coverage. Love to see that. Oh, we got Pugh and Vernon switched. These all whites are just such nice looking jerseys. Can someone get after the QB. Apply pressure. Pugh brings him down from behind. Huge third down. Sack. For the Roman soldier. I was actually so big. Got him out of field goal range. Pat O'Donnell will punt. McKay is back to return. Why do my subs not save? I don't know. There was a title update since I last played. I wonder if that screwed with anything. And if I didn't talk about the Redskins game, I did play that. And we did win. Morris Dubose actually had a 97-yard kickoff return touchdown, if my memory serves correct. But the file corrupted, so as much as I want that to be a video on the channel, unfortunately it cannot be. I'm not sure what happened, but it just I can't edit the file. It, it's corrupt, and I've already uploaded the next episode. So it is what it is. As Odell's going to break a tackle. Odell Beckham Jr. 27 yards to start things off here in Pittsburgh. Let's see if we can find a way to pick up this first down. It's probably going to be Sterling Shepard on a crossing route unless something gets open deep, and we can't even throw the ball. T.J. Watt brings us down for the sack. Fourth and 22. Both offenses struggling here early after getting a first down, or maybe the Steelers even pick up two. We got to be better. That's got to be a pick. Oh, man, what a play by Landon Collins. Love that. That is wide open. What was going on there? That better have been cover two. I can't remember what I call it. it was, yeah, it was cover two hard flat. That's not really on Morris Dubose. That's just them running the right play against the right defensive look and picking up the first down. Would have been real tough for Morris Dubose to get on that in our defense. As James Conner is going to get another one. He's going to bowl over Derwin James. Finally brought down by rookie free safety Julius Manning. Big Ben rolling out. Another fantastic, phenomenal play by Landon Collins diving with his second pass breakup of the day. He's playing really, really well here. He's arguably our best defensive player, but, I mean, Morris DuBose is a lockdown corner. We picked up Derwin James. We got Alex Espinoza, Roman Pugh. This is a very, very good defense. Dalvin Tomlinson in the backfield. Get after Big Ben. He's going to throw it away. OV was very close to closing in on Big Ben there. I think he was just about to. And it looks like they're going to settle for a field goal attempt here on 4th and 11 from the 26. Who's their kicker? It's not Chris Boswell, clearly. I don't know. Whoever it is, is good. Straight through the uprights. And Pittsburgh is up 3-0. First and 10. Maybe had Odell. We're going to go to Evan Ingram, though. Our trusty tight end, as Kyle Aletta is actually slinging it here today. 
Third and 19. I'm not really sure how we're going to get this. If we can just get into field goal range to tie up the ball game, that'd be nice. As we get Saquon Barkley. And maybe have done just that on the 38. That's going to be a long field goal. And it looks like we're going to have to punt with the wind going against us. Can we pin him deep, though? Let's just settle for a sky kick here. Hopefully, this pins them. A little shorter than maybe I wanted, but at least it's inside the 20. Down at the 16. It's another run. James Conner plunging forward. Somehow manages to pick up two as he ran through Olivier Vernon. But it will bring up a third down and eight. Would love to dial up a blitz here, and I think we're going to. BJ Goodson's going to come in based on their personnel, and maybe we can get pressure on the quarterback. Taking a shot at Jalen Mills. Trying for Juju Smith-Schuster, and that is intercepted. Not great ball security there from Big Ben, and this ball is going the other way. We're going to snap the ball, and that's another sack. A blitz came in off the right edge. I never saw it. And we're out of field goal range. Again, fourth and 20. They sent five. It was just we couldn't handle it. It's a decent punt, though. We're going to down him at the one. The rookie, Newfeld, with a phenomenal punt. That is not even, that is the, the half yard mark at best. Get in the backfield. Got to get a safety. Maybe gained half a yard. Looks like Derwin James was in there to make the tackle. Second and nine now from the one still. Let's come out in goal line. And let's stop them from moving the ball. Yeah, they picked up about half a yard. Now is the time to use it to the linebacker. Fill up a gap and stuff him in the backfield. It's going to be a sack. Big Ben goes down to the end zone. It is a safety. Alexander Espinoza on the middle linebacker blitz. And we got the odd score of 3-2. to two. As Caesar Mack will return this safety punt. Not get too much. Actually, let's, let's block Evan Ingram. Let's send DeMar Jacobs out. And yeah, block and release for Saquon Barkley is going to be good. Somebody might burn. I don't really like anything there. We might have Saquon Barkley. And we do. Laletta hits him. Barkley over the top of two. End zone. Touchdown. One of the most incredible Saquon Barkley touchdowns of the entire series. 60 yards to the house hurdling two defenders. Absolutely unbelievable from Saquon Barkley. Great job from Kyle Laletta redirecting traffic. And the double hurdle from Saquon Barkley absolutely unreal oh you love it you love it from Saquon it's another run and another great tackle in the box from Julius Manning something he does really really well is tackle and hit the coverage as you guys probably know is not quite there yet from him but he tackles very very well pursuit to the ball carrier is tremendous he is like a linebacker as Dalvin Tomlinson is like a nose tackle Shutting down Le'Veon Bell, shutting the block. And they will punt again. Dude, this defensive line is giving me absolutely nothing. Six rushes, two yards for Saquon. As We haven't changed run blocking sliders at all. Sometimes the game just uh, plays like this. Maybe that was something in the, in the update, but we are really struggling to find lanes here. As we're going to go deep. Wide open is Odell Beckham Jr. Touchdown Giants. 47 yards to the house for number 13. And we are just pounding them here. That's Le'Veon Bell. Wrapped up by Derwin James. But Pittsburgh has moved the ball pretty well. Until they don't. Every single drive. First down, first down, first down, and then like three terrible plays in a row. And they don't end up picking it up. It's very odd. As Washington, James Washington is the motion man. 
Handoff goes to Le'Veon Bell. Tackles missed by Lorenzo Carter, but it works out for the best. Roman Pugh tackles Le'Veon Bell for a loss of two. Third down and five. The Roman soldier looking sharp as usual. And we'll see if once again, what has happened the entire game will happen here. And I actually don't like this look at all. We're going to change to a man look. Get after the quarterback, Dalvin Tomlinson. Can't bring him down, but Big Ben goes right into the arms of Olivier Vernon. OV, his third tackle on the game, his first sack. And Pittsburgh will punt again. Come on, man. Hold your blocks, guys. Saquon has seven rushes for zero yards. Let's see if something's open. I think we have Odell. Great bullet pass from Kyle Oletta. Odell Beckham Jr. down the sideline and forced out at the 29. From the 29 to the 29 in one play, you love to see it. Might like Howard Russell up the seam on this one. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna lob it up. Saquon, come down. What a, what a stupid decision. Had one-on-one -on -one with the running back, but Artie Burns turns around. Gets his fifth pick on the season, stays in the end zone. And we've thrown just, it's just a bad decision. Never should have done it. Lawrence Thomas in the game. It doesn't matter. Vance McDonald is the target here again. As Big Ben connects with him. They're in the hurry up. Lawrence Thomas is going to stay on the field. The new LT potentially. As he's winning some of these battles. But we just can't quite get to the quarterback. Big Ben's just chucking it off too quickly. Whatever the case may be. Let's see if this defense can, uh, can shut down the Steelers. No scores before half. It's a sack fumble and recovered by Lawrence Thomas. BJ Goodson on the blitz. And we are taking over. All right, third and 20. It is going to be tough for us to pick up a first down here. I think we're going to go with this shot deep. Oh, we got him. Ball is maybe a little bit underthrown for Howard Russell. Going to be fourth and 20, and we can't make the sack fumble end up mattering. That sucks. Let's go, Saquon. Finally an opportunity. There's a spin move. And he picks up about 10. 10 rushes, 14 yards. This has maybe been one of Saquon's roughest games since his rookie year. We're really trying out here. It's just uh, the blocking has been so bad. We've been dominated by this Pittsburgh defensive line every single time we try to hand it off. Saquon there using some speed to get to the outside. But it's only about a five or six yard gain. Only got two touchdowns today. We've just, with arguably the best defense in the league, completely neutralized the Steelers. As we're going to throw underneath, Howard Russell picked up the first. Good way to use some power there. I don't think we're going to have it. I got square. Howard, make the play! Can't hold on. Here's play action on third down and 11. We get a flag. Could be a free play. Also... It's probably a holding that's going to negate the first down. Because we have aggressive blocking on. It's going to be holding on the offense. offense. J.W. Hilton, the right guard. Third and 21 now. Might as well just take some deep shots here. It's third and 21. Nothing a run's going to do. We're going to have to throw it away. Is that going to be intentional grounding? That'd be an unbelievable call. Oh my god, were we not out of the tackle box? It's going to be 4th and 31, alright. To run, somebody get on it. Damon Harrison is there as Le'Veon Bell runs backwards into him. 3rd and 3, shed it. Le'Veon Bell running into Espinosa. I think Julius Manning might have stopped him short. 4th and inches. Pittsburgh should absolutely go for it here, and they're not going to. There's time left, but you can't punt the ball on fourth and inches from the 47. You cannot do that. Down 16-3 to three nonetheless. I know it's two touchdowns, but unbelievably bad decision. We can't run the ball. We just cannot run the ball here at all. We'll try to pass uh, on third and 14. Not sure how effective it's going to be. 
Got some crossers and some fades. I, I can't throw the ball. Oh, man. Bud Dupree has been insane today. Let's go, Dalvin. Get after him. Come on, man. I need some sacks here. Need some pressure. That is just a bad decision. Julius Manning rips it out of the hands of Antonio Brown. And it's third and nine. Come, oh, We're getting no pressure. Check down to Antonio Brown. Lorenzo Carter is there. And Pittsburgh, once again, not shockingly, will punt. We only have 29 more yards of offense this game than them. And they've clearly outrushed us. We're going to try a pitch. And this pitch works well. There's a juke. Saquon Barkley. We just needed to pitch it. Beat him down the field. Knocked out by Artie Burns at the six. Saquon Barkley on one run turns the entire game around. A bit of a controversial play here. Which is fullback fake dive. Halfback toss. And it's going to go to Saquon. Speed. Get in the end zone, Saquon Barkley. Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He does end up getting his touchdown. It's not vultured. And it hasn't been a crazy powerful offensive game for us, but the defensive line of the Steelers has been unbelievably tough. And we're going for two here. That's just say that's just wide open for Odell Beckham Jr. Saquon being a beast, and then Odell beating press in man coverage just unbelievably easily. From BJ Goodson, recovered by Lawrence Thomas, and Dalvin Tomlinson can't sack him. Finally, it's an incomplete pass. You gotta be kidding me. No way. Big Ben looking for space, can't find it. The Roman soldier living in the backfield, his fifth sack on the season. It is what, week eight, week nine? So I'd like to see better production from him. But this is a big two sack game that's gonna help elevate him in the uh, statistical department. As Morris Dubois showing off that 99 speed a little bit. Oh no, we had it. We had the post. They blitz and Ryan Shazier brings down the quarterback again. Our offensive line has not been ideal today. In terms of run blocking or pass blocking. We scored 24 points. It's decent. It's not great. Newfeld's been tremendous. That's a new, oh my goodness. Dude, Big Ben is unbelievable. Olivier Vernon was back in coverage. Big Ben broke a Roman Pew sack. That's something Kyle Oletta doesn't have at all, is break sack. Which would be awesome, but he has no break sack. Very upsetting we can't bring Big Ben down there with Roman Pew. Hate to see that. Lawrence Thomas doing well. But it's going to be Antonio Brown over the middle. And Big Ben is injured. That's the game. That's the game for Pittsburgh. Who's their backup quarterback? Give me Josh Dobbs. Oh, it's Mason Rudolph. I think Josh Dobbs is number two on the depth chart. But I guess in this Mason Rudolph's a higher overall. Le'Veon Bell motions out wide. This is when we dial up the pressure against an inexperienced quarterback who throws it away quickly. Weird release, but he's perfect on the game so far. That's going to be ripped away by Morris Dubow. Something we get used to saying. He does not allow catches. In man coverage and zone coverage. Morris Dubose is incredible. I'm going to pose this question to you guys in the comment section below. Who do you guys think is the best player on our defense? I know most people would say either Saquon or Odell on offense. But on defense, you could choose from so many different players. Olivier Vernon, Alex Espinosa, even though he's a rookie. Darwin James, even though he's been here a short time. Landon Collins. I said, Did I say Morris Dubose? I may have. Lorenzo Carter could get some votes. Dalvin Tomlinson probably wouldn't, but Damon Harrison certainly might. BJ Goodson's been good for us. Nobody would say Jalen Mills. That's got to be a pick. Lorenzo Carter. Ice is the game here in Pittsburgh. 
That is the game. It was like closer than the score really shows. Takeaways didn't even tell the story of this game. It's just too many third downs. Big Ben couldn't convert. Le'Veon Bell couldn't convert. Kyle Oletta, we only threw the ball 16 times. Two touchdowns, an interception. It was, it was a stupid interception. Saquon, 4.4 yards per carry does not tell the story of this game. And a touchdown. Receiving, Odell, four catches and a touchdown. Saquon crushed it with a 160-yard reception for an incredible touchdown. It's an odd haircut from Marcus Gilbert. Espinosa, 10 tackles, a lot of assists there. Bud Dupree was a real problem this game. Roman Pugh was good. A couple of missed sacks. Bud Dupree, 2.5. Ryan Shazier, 2. But OV, 2. Roman Pugh, 2. Espinosa, 1.5. He's going to win Defensive Player of the Year, probably. Interceptions for Jalen Mills and Lorenzo Carter. Forced fumbles for B.J. Goodson and a fumble recovery from the rookie out of Nebraska, number 97, Lawrence Thomas and a safety. They gave it to B.J. Hill. It wasn't B.J. Hill. It was uh, Alexander Espinosa who got it. Okay. We have a bunch of upgrades, but we're going to save that for the next video to keep you guys coming back if you'd like to see upgrades. That's going to do it as uh, we have Bengal taking on the Bengals next week in week number 10. The 4-4 four four Giants against the 4-4 four four Bengals as the Cowboys and Redskins both won last week. Another not-so-close game, but we have one of the best defenses in the NFL. So, I'm not shocked. I'm not shocked. We have a 99 overall defense. This is a very, very good defense. Not shocking. But that's going to do it for me, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Take it easy.